It's a concern young women leave the study of STEM earlier than young men. But Young Women's Preparatory Network is working to change that by inspiring a love of STEM learning in young women. Very important work. One of the ways they do that is through their STEM challenge. The competition is this Saturday, and we're speaking now with some members of the Houston team before the send-off. This morning, we are here with engineering and computer science teacher Astra Zeno and student and competitor Rihanna Curette Warren. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This is really an incredible opportunity and so very important for mm -hmm. women and girls to learn about STEM. Talk a little bit about the preparatory. Hi, Young Women's College Preparatory Academy here in Houston. We're not just a part of Houston ISD, but we're also a part of the Young Women's Preparatory Network, or YWPN. YWPN works to support single gender public college preparatory education mm. in Texas and beyond. They work to ensure that all of their students have access to high quality academics, college preparatory and leadership skills to get them to and through college. They prepare them for success in life. Mm -hmm. Ensuring they have that access yes. is so critical. Talk to us about this STEAM challenge. Oh, the STEAM challenge is my favorite time of year. <laughs> it allows us to give students skills in science, technology, engineering, art, and math, where students solve a problem for a given theme each year. This year, the theme is for students to solve a problem to help future generations. Mm. So the winning teams get to go to Dallas to compete for the finals. And this year, there are six teams going to Dallas. Oh, wow. And Rihanna, I know you're a part of that team. Thank you so much for joining us. Talk a little bit about the team project. So our project is called Sprouting in Space. We are growing Mizuna plants with a twist. We're using um, seeds, but we use radiation like a Mars mission in space. And we're also growing a solar power watering system that blends renewable energy with space farming. Whoa. Wait, how did you even <laughs> come up with this idea? Um, so we were in engineering science class mm -hmm. and we were working on hydroponic plants at the moment, but our team decided to branch off into doing our own project. And our teacher suggested that we join our STEM challenge. That's so cool. That's and, so cool. And I know being around that and gosh, you're just your mind's just going. Has this encouraged you, inspired you to, to get into a career in STEM? Yes, but um, I already previously wanted to be in a STEAM pathway. Oh, okay, okay. And what what is that? What's the pathway? Um, what do what do you want to be? I want to be a mechanical engineer. Oh wow. <laughs> well keep on keeping on, right? That's what I say. <laughs> For people watching right now yeah. who who want to to get involved, is there a way they can as well? Yes, they can go to youngwomensprep.org and look for the banner at the top or the middle of the page for the YWPN STEAM Challenge. And they can vote for their favorite project. I would say vote for Sprouting in Space. <laughs> uh, votes are just a dollar and all proceeds go to support this wonderful challenge. Wow. Astra, talk about the importance of teaching young women about STEM. Mm. I think it's important to teach young women about STEM because they are a part of our society. Mm -hmm. So without young women in STEM, we have an unbalanced workforce. Mm -hmm. It's important that they see that they can see, succeed, and go through and to, col go to and through college with the skills that they need to succeed in life. Absolutely. We yeah. could we could learn a thing or two. <laughs> let me tell you that. And right? Rihanna, talk a little bit about more about your schooling. How do you how do you like school? It's a great school. Um, they provide us with many opportunities that some regular kids won't get at like a regular yeah. In NES school or something like that mm -hmm. we um, they provide us and then all these opportunities are for free all you have to do is sign up for it so now oh, that is pretty awesome uh, do you bring people into the classroom some professionals that can come yes. and talk to the students how does that work as much as possible I like to bring in professionals so the students can see it and then be it mm -hmm. so we bring in engineers and scientists we uh, try to go to different local conventions mm -hmm. museums mm -hmm. and see different corporations and even NASA so students can see what they can be when they grow up. Exactly. Have it, having those role models is is really everything. You know, it's funny you mentioned NASA, and I was as you were talking, I was thinking of Hidden Figures, the mm -hmm. movie mm -hmm. about uh, the young women who really pioneered right. uh, th that effort. So it's it's amazing to see and to see this continue with future generations of young it's, ladies. It's amazing, yeah. Yeah. and to see them competing. How does that feel for you? It feels wonderful for me. It's kept me in education for twenty plus years <laughs> to see. That's amazing. Students grow up and be the things that they competed in when they were 15 years old. Wow. Well, thank you both so much for, for coming on the show this morning. We appreciate your time. <laughs> and the best of luck. Thank Go vote. You. Go, Go vote. vote. Yes. Right? <laughs>